These are all the hidden special effects that you would normally find in the description of the weapons. Boost your critical damage up to 140. Boost special incantations grants trace amounts of runes on hit, about 10. Prevent skeletons from reviving. Attacks can't be blocked by shields. Restores 5 FP upon defeating an enemy. Restores 6.5% of your maximum HP upon defeating an enemy. Prevents skeletons from reviving again. Has unique heavy attacks that fire projectiles. Restores 60 HP upon defeating an enemy. Has a unique strong attack. Restores 4 FP upon defeating an enemy. Grants trace amounts of runes back on hit. 10 again. Restores 1% of your maximum HP on hit. Boosts critical damage to 115. Grants trace amounts of runes on hit. About 20. Restores 1% of your maximum HP on hit. Restores 3% of your maximum HP upon defeating an enemy. Grants trace amounts of runes back on the hit, about 10. Boost immunity by 50. Grants slight magic, fire, lightning and holy damage absorption, around 2%. Attacks can't be blocked by shields. Causes poison build up with all arrows and stacks with poison arrows. Buffs Redan's spear great arrows by 20%. Fires free bolts in a volley. Reduces the casting time of sorceries and incantations by 8%, but also consumes more FP, around 20%. Boosts all sorceries by 10%, but consumes an additional FP cost of around 50%. Scales with arcane. Beast type enemies become passive until attacked. Reveals invisible enemies. Boosts focus by 50, boosts immunity by 40, and causes build up with poison. Boosts attack and defense by 5% if you're below 20% HP levels. Stacks with other things as well. Boosts stamina regen by 8%, restores 3% HP per second. Boosts immunity by 60. Boosts immunity, robustness and focus by 50. So that was all of the special effects in Elden Ring. If you want me to do a video like this for armor sets as well, just let me know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have fun.